turn it off. To change the tip on the desoldering gun, we just remove this collar here when it's cold. And there's your tip. It comes with uh, two extra tips. I believe they're of two different sizes too. I think you can get three sizes in total. So next we have the hot air gun. Uh, you can put different tips on. Just pop the tip on and screw the retaining nut and bolt here. Retaining screw. They'll give you a different uh, uh, stream of air for more uh, precise heat. With the hot air gun, if I just turned it on now, it will be sucking the air from this orifice here, which is very small, going around and actually sucking it in through, sucking it from this little tube from the, the smoke absorber. You're not going to get a, a very big volume of air on that. Um, another thing I think they could have improved on is to have a separate air inlet for the a uh, hot air gun, but they don't. So, what you have to do is remove this, leave that filter in place, and it comes with this cap, which screws on, and that would allow for the maximum airflow to come out of your uh, heating gun. So now that we have this cap on, and I believe that's what this is for, that didn't really say so in the instructions. When we turn the unit on, the top display will show the temperature of the air coming out, and the uh, next line will show the uh, air pressure coming out of the tip. We can increase or decrease the air pressure. I'm uh, increasing it now, 100 P. I don't know if that means P for pressure, P for pounds, probably not pounds since it's a uh, metric, uh, but I'm, I believe that's just P for pressure. And I can also increase or decrease the uh, temperature. Let's increase that way up. And when I release it, it shows the actual temperature of the air coming out. It's starting to get quite hot. One nice feature on the hot air gun and the soldering iron is they have a sleep timer, built-in sleep timers, which you can change the delay on the sleep timer. On the cradle here, the handle, um, there's a small micro switch. I don't know if you can see, it's right where my nail is. When I put the hot air gun into the cradle, it activates the sleep timer. And if you notice, the display now shows D. When I remove it, it shows the temperature centigrade. I put it back in the cradle, it shows D. I don't, I'm not sure what D means. They really don't explain it. My guess is delay if you want to come up with something, but it actually starts the sleep timer. Uh, I think it defaults to three minutes, so if, if I had this sitting here on my bench with, uh, with the gun in the handle, or yeah, in the handle, and I wasn't using it, it won't just continue to blow hot air and possibly burn whatever is behind it. It'll shut itself off after a predetermined time, which you can reset. And, it, and as, as I said, you can also change the sleep timer in the soldering area also. When I'm done using this and I turn it off, 
since the tip is hot, uh, it will go down, it would automatically go to a cooling cycle. So I will turn this off. And if you notice, it says cool. Even though the unit is off, there's no more power going to it. It will, the fan does uh, stay on until it reaches a safe temperature. And then it will shut itself off automatically. Just like that. So here's how we adjust the sleep time. Um, we can we can do it for both the desoldering iron and the um, hot air gun. I'm going to do it for the hot hot air gun right now. And to do so, what you'll do is with the display showing all off, you're going to hit the up button on the air pressure indicator. Press and hold that until your d display shows this, 015D. Uh, 015 means that it's set for a 15 minute delay. Uh, you can go anywhere from one minute to 60 minutes. Um, and that will be how long uh, it will take before the unit shuts itself, the, the hot air gun shuts itself off after being placed in the cradle. So once I put it in the cradle, the timer starts Right now it's set for 15 minutes. To adjust that up or down, I can uh, hit the up or down buttons on the hot air temperature, hot air gun temperature. So hitting it up, change it accordingly. Right now it's set for 23 minutes of delay. I'm gonna put that back to the default setting, which is 15. And uh, hitting the down button on the air pressure will set it to that delay time. Um, press and hold. And it's set. Another feature on this unit is that it has an automate function, which is this button right here. It's equipped with five five stage automated hot air rework profiling system. That's what the manual says. I'm not very familiar with that. Um, I'll have to read up on that. But when you do push it, push it once, it that's what it displays. Push it twice three times, I believe it's cycling through all of the um, preset displays, run, save, and then back to off again. Again, I'm not that familiar with uh, that process uh, for me to explain it any further. You can also uh, calibrate the tip temperature of the soldering iron. Uh, you will need a an external uh, temperature sensor, uh, which I don't have here today. Um, and you would place the tip, you, you would set the temperature of the tip uh, to whatever you wanted it to, place the tip on your sensor, and if there's a discrepancy, you can adjust that offset uh, with, the with the buttons here in order to calibrate the, the unit with the actual tip temperature. So that's about it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, and certainly can't beat it for the money. I think I paid $275 on eBay with free shipping. And, uh, and it, to come complete with everything you'll need, soldering iron, desoldering gun, uh, hot air gun, you know, the vacuum uh, system, uh, you can't beat it. Now I just have to go and try it. Thanks for watching.